Hello, this is Bob from Bob CNC, and we're doing a video tutorial series on how to use Estocam. In this video, we're going to take a picture file and create a toolpath. So let's go ahead and load up the file. File, open, and then we'll browse to a picture file. Once we open or select a file, we will have two choices, halftone, which we'll cover later in this video, and carve. Let's click carve. We're going to get this warning that basically says that if it's too complicated, your results won't turn out very well. This type of work is really meant for simple drawings like the one that we have selected. However, try it with the photograph that you have, play with the parameters and see what you can do. Here are the parameters. We're going to make it 20 inches wide, which will automatically calculate the length. Our max carve width is 0.125 inches, and I'm going to say process main color only. And then I'm going to click OK. Watch as it creates the toolpath. Now I'm going to go ahead and say for our carving bit, for the pocketing tool, use the V bit, and let's go ahead and use. Uh, 0 0.05 as a depth. You could also leave these as automatic. Next we'll go ahead and save our project. Click File, and Save Project, and give it a name. Now this is just going to save the Estocam project. This does not create the toolpath. To create the toolpath we want to go to File, Save CNC Program, give it a name, and it will go ahead and save the toolpath. Once the toolpath is saved, it will go ahead and give you a preview. Okay, now let's go look at Halftone. Click File, Open. Let's use the same picture. And this time we're going to select Halftone. Notice if we zoom in, it is a bunch of small and larger medium-sized circles. It's going to make a whole bunch of drill points to create an image. Now you can change the way the drill points are made or actually go to straight lines or zigzag lines, swirly lines, whichever one works best for you. You can also change the size or the grid. You can also make it uh, a little bit more diffusion, which really just adds more dots so that it, uh, I don't know, looks more of a grayed out image. Once you've decided uh, what parameters you to use to make your uh, halftone picture, go ahead and click File, Save G-Code File. Once the file is saved, you will see the preview of the toolpath. Notice that the toolpath looks a little bit different than the one before. This is because it's making a whole bunch of small dots. These programs run quite a bit longer, but have pretty cool results. So we've covered half tone and carving using Estocam software. I hope this has been helpful. If not, shoot us an email at helpdesk at bobcnc.com. Thank you for watching.